How to guide DSM VMware. Ready? Go! What's up everybody? This is a how-to guide on how to install DSM Synology on VMware. This will be a step-by-step -step process, so please follow carefully. Okay, first step would be to download the XP Enology ISO and the DSM software. First, go to Google and then type in XP Enology. Go to the link. You want to go to Boot Images. And click on the download link. Next is to download the DSM software, which will be used later in the installation. Next little piece of software you need is Synology Assistant. Type it into Google and then go to the Download Center. Under Select Type, just select Other. After the download is done, install the program. In this next step, you want to start your VMware program. Create a new virtual machine and we will be tweaking a few settings. Please note, since this is a 64-bit operating system, you need to make sure to select the Linux kernel 2.6x 64-bit, or else you will have problems down the road. After creating the virtual machine, go to the settings. Here's where we want to tweak a few things. We want to tell the virtual C drive on where the ISO is located. The ISO will be located in your downloads folder. Next is an important step to remove the hard disk which is set to SCSI and change it to a SATA drive. Another important tweak is to set the network adapter to bridged. This will help the assist program see it on the network. Before we start the install, we need to edit a file in the virtual machine box folder. This will tell the virtual machine to always boot to C drive. You are looking for a VMX file and edit with notepad. Now enter in the following. Now the fun part, we get to finally install the program. Make sure to be ready to select the install slash upgrade. Once it's finished booting up, launch the assist program. When launched, a search should start automatically. If not found the first time around, just hit search again. 
When found, your internet browser should pop up with a loading screen. And here's where the other downloads come into play. You want to do a manual install, browse, select that DSM file that we downloaded earlier, and then hit install now. This part will take a few minutes, so I speed up the video so you can still see the whole process in a short period of time. Once you get to the welcome screen, you get to put in your administrator account information. This part is important. You don't want it to automatically download and update an installation just in case of any kind of conflict. So just make sure to turn that off to prevent any complications down the road. Congratulations, the installation is complete. One last thing to do is to make sure that the operating system is 100% up to date. So all you have to do is go to Control Panel, Updates and Restores, Wait for it to check for downloads, then click Update. If you run into any problems with the update, just restart the virtual machine, then run the updates again. Congratulations, you are done. If you wish to install DSM on a PC rather than a virtual machine, I'll be placing a link to that video now. If you like this video, please link, share, subscribe. If you think this video is worth donating, please click the donate button at the top of this video. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer any and all questions. Thank you very much for watching.